Good afternoon everyone, I am Jawad Ansari, an executive member of the Computer Club at Burnhouse School and I am excited to introduce a new initiative called Campus Chronicles where we will be interviewing exceptional students from our school community. Today I have the pleasure of interviewing Ahmed Pathana, head boy and a remarkable student in the high school. Welcome Ahmed. Thank you so much Jawad, it's an honor and a pleasure to be the like one of the very few guests that have, you know, Grace, this wonderful initiative of yours and I'm so happy and I'm so delighted to be a part of this initiative of yours. Thank you so much Jawad for having me here. Emmet, you've been a prominent figure in our school community. Could you share some of the key contributions you've made during your time? Uh, well, um, if we talk about my contributions in the school, let's rewind back to 7th grade when I had my first inter-school competition in which I was like participating as a newbie, as someone who had never you know, experienced that sort of a culture, that sort of a competition, com competing with students of different schools and that was way back in 7th grade in September I remember there was this science carnival in DPS Badgam and back in the day we had a chemistry teacher in our school uh, who eventually left the school, his name was Sajal sir and Sajal sir had uh, uh, recruited me for one of the s items for the science carnival and yeah I remember that we had won that competition back then uh, we had the likes of Daud Riyaz and Kumail Muzaffar in that team and that was my first experience that was my first major contribution to you know to enhancing or to increasing the trophy count of our school so I remember back in the day I was involved in that and I would say next year that thing that uh, momentum of mine after participating in the science carnival it kept on going and going and I remember that 8th uh, grade was one of my most productive years um, in my school career in my school years and I remember I had you know participated in various debates in various competitions I was even the org a member of the organizing committee for the English Literary Week I was even uh, a part of the official delegation of Bernhardt School to the National Science Congress that was held in Bangalore in uh, January 2020. So I and that uh, we were um, featured in the Indian Express newspaper for creating a project uh, that tackled carbon based air pollution. So I remember that uh, these contributions of mine they have led me to become who I am today. I uh, although I didn't get a chance to extensively use my potential, to use my skills, to use my talents in 9th grade and 10th grade as you all know because of COVID pandemic but uh, as soon as the school resumed I started uh, you know getting involved in extracurricular activities in school itself. I participated in the prestigious Nano Nagel debate in pres held at Presentation Convent every year for the past two years and last year we were second runner up, we stood second, uh, we stood third uh, in that competition, in that debate. So yeah, it's been a, it's been a hell of a ride back, uh, like looking back till now, it's, it's been amazing and yeah, I think all of it has culminated to what we, uh, what I am today, uh, I think that everything, every, each one of that experience has led me to, you know, eventually lead the student council today. So yeah, that's very impressive practically. As the head boy, you hold a position of influence among the students. What's your vision for our school and how do you aim to inspire and guide your fellow students towards achieving it? Yeah, well, I think that guide is a too big of a word for a student who is just has just completed his school year and I think that collaborate collaboration or sharing my experience would be a better way to put it but yeah when it comes to how I would like to have a vision for this school how I would like to lead the school in a way in, as the student council president I would say that I have based my vision on what the my principal the school principal our vice principal our teachers have asked me to lead like in a way that imparts a holistic education in burn Hollians and young Hollians. I feel that there is a legacy that has been built by our previous um, se our seniors, our, the previous the alumni of this institution, our teachers, the previous principals, the previous vice principals, they have built a legacy, they have built a tradition for uh, successive generations to be followed. Like I feel that 
Burn Hall has the heritage of imparting a holistic and a comprehensive education model in a student. So I feel that I intend to carry forward that legacy. I intend to make sure that each student feels that he is being heard. Each student feels that that the innate talent in him is it's being fostered by various resources, by through various resources that have been provided by this institution to him. So yeah, I feel that that's majorly how I would like to tackle this, how I would like to you know, have a vision for this school. So yeah, I feel that with advancing technology, with the way that the world is changing, the school obviously needs to adapt to that. We need to incorporate more resources, we need to incorporate a better teaching strategy, a better way to impart education in our students. But I feel that the heritage that uh, and the traditions that have been followed for so long, they need to be preserved as well. So that's my vision for this school. I I think that yeah, this is this is the way forward. Yeah. Let's uh, delve into some important topics. Firstly, what are your thoughts on the current education system, and do you see any areas that need change or improvement? Um, well, the two things or the two words that come to my mind whenever I think about the Indian education system. Uh, those words have to be redundant and hyper competitive. Um, I think we live in a world where we don't necessarily need students and individuals to be super specialists. We need people who are well rounded, who are holistic, who have achieved a holistic development, whether be it in their education or be it in their personality. I think that the current education system in India, it's uh, it has been developed into something that basically produces super specialists, be it institutions like IITs, IIMs. No wonder they are producing a phenomenal number of graduates who are achieving wonders in the world. But I think that what we see in the West is that undergraduate education, bachelor's degree is more focused on the student being allowed to actually explore various fields and then arrive on a conclusion where he or she understands that okay this is my niche this is uh, the field that I want to pursue along with that I'm working on my communication skills I'm working on my speaking skills I'm working on my presentation skills and so on but we see that lacking in the ed Indian education system so I think that that is one field that needs a complete overhaul and a complete uh, a complete improvement uh, in the coming years and I think uh, the government, the administration, the bureaucratic system, it recognized that flaw in the education system. So, yeah. That's a very interesting perspective, and Now, looking ahead, our uh, annual sports day is approaching. What are your expectations of the event, and how do you think it impacts our school community? Yeah, well, I think that um, the annual sports day, it's been a long cherished tradition of Burn Hall School. And, um, I, I like whoever is participating in this event. I know my council members are participating along with the primary section, the middle school classes. Everyone is so enthusiastic and so excited about this event because it happens once a year and the entire school is involved. The entire valley is just focused on this one event because it it has a significant impact on how things you know uh, and how things are perceived. Uh, not just about this institution, about Kashmir as a whole. So uh, I wish whoever is part of it, I wish them the very best and I hope that their practice, their hard work comes to fruition through this event. And yeah, I think that if we market this event, this um, this mega event in a proper manner, Burn Hall can emerge as a hallmark of innovation and talent and um, initiative in Kashmir because I think that this event it can bring a significant change in the perception that Burn Hall has and the ways that Burn Hall is being perceived by the world. I think it has the potential to show how talented Hallians are and to show how um, um, how hardworking and how excellent the Burn Hall school community is. Well said, Ahmed. Lastly, uh, there has been talk about establishing an editorial board for our school. What do you think are the benefit? What do you think are the benefits of having an editorial board, and how do you envision its impact on the students' learning? Uh, well, when I assumed charge as the head of this institution, the first thing that came to my mind was that 
students need to be involved in the editorial processes of let's say the school magazine or even back in the day before the covid pandemic we used to have a quarterly newsletter being published um, every once every three months and i remember the students used to be involved in the editing process in submitting the articles for the same so i felt the need of reviving that tradition reviving that practice that we had in bernal school so uh, i approached our respected teachers who are involved in the editorial board the teachers editorial board and we decided that we need to recruit editors uh, and make a separate student editorial board wherein articles can be submitted and you know uh, uh, responsible students who are well versed with literary skills they can you know motivate students to contribute in such publication so in september we are hoping that uh, with the help of the school administration under the guidance of our reverend principal we will be uh, publishing the first edition of the quarterly newsletter of burn hall school uh, and inshallah if allah wills we'll have uh, our uh, annual school magazine being published in the month of march next year with Uh, uh, immense part participation like we have already received more than 50 articles for the quarterly newsletter and we are hoping even greater participation when we start collecting articles for the school magazine so yeah i am de- i'm very positive about this initiative on part thank you ahmed for sharing your insights and vision with us your dedication and passion are truly inspiring thank you so much jawad for having me here um to conclude i just want to congratulate uh ahmed ali the computer club captain for leading this initiative this wonderful initiative of his uh i mean i was truly delighted i was truly uh, excited when he shared the news to me that he is going to record the uh, he's going to record the computer conference very soon and i just wish him all the best i wish you all the best you have been a wonderful host thank you so much for having me thank you and This concludes our interview for today's Campus Chronicles. Stay tuned for more conversations with exceptional individuals from our school. Goodbye everyone. Your dedication and passion are truly inspiring. I need to miss like everybody.